In Kent's biggest blizzard for 20 years, nine-foot snowdrifts busted the local bus schedule wide open. A snowplough came to the rescue, got stuck, and now it's somewhere under the snow. Good swearing weather for motorists, it turned sleepy Hastingsley into the frozen Yukon. So Ben Smith may bring home the Washington bacon, but in these parts the horse brings home the milk. Nice weather for polar bears, it came away in large lumps. Burning itself out in Liverpool's Canada Tongue Dock is the 16,000 ton Empire Waveney. Once the Nazis strength through joy holiday ship, she is down on her beam end, still burning inside and half filled with water. The fifth ship to catch fire in Liverpool in 48 hours, sabotage is suspected and special branch detectives are working on the case in the dock area. The end of a chapter, the floating hulk of a dead ship. Cuts in coupon value of women's suits and coats from 18 to 12 give a new slant to London's ritzy fashion shows. On cold days, you need something like this mink coat. One look at the price and you go hot all over. It's 2,700 pounds. Interest point of the show was the accent on black. Dresses and suits keep inside the 20 pound price limit. And happy thought, there was no austerity. But every few minutes a new fur would pop up and the price would do the same. This green suit with stole and muff goes a mere 450 pounds. And for fashion's modern musketeers, this green cape may raise a few eyebrows. High spots were the birds of paradise. On top of the hat, not under it. A sure thing for high-flying pocketbooks. <laughs> 